Cooper, there's been a fire. <laughs> and it's going to affect amps and other things. I'll tell you all about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Cooper Greenberg. I'm Cooper McKee. <laughs> We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Teespring store linked below for custom designed t-shirts. So I'm actually Chris and you're actually Cooper, but this is actually an amp and it's actually going to be affected uh, this year and not just because it's 2020. Yeah. But the hits keep on rolling. If you haven't seen in the news, far away in Japan at AKM, which manufactures chips, uh, there was a big fire. Did you hear about this? It was like barbecue chips. Not a, no, no, not barbecue chips, not fish and chips, but microchips. Mm -hmm. And specifically, AKM makes audio processors. Mm -hmm. And these chips happen to be in a lot of things. And the fire was pretty big. It was very devastating to the factory. Thankfully... According to reports, everyone got out fine. There was nobody injured in the fire. So that's the good news. That's good news. You ready for the bad news? No, but yes, go on. So these chips are in a lot of things yeah. in pro audio applications. Um, and actually even beyond, I've read that there's certain uh, car audio that utilize these chips for very high-end car stereo systems. And there really isn't another factory where AKM is manufacturing these particular microprocessors. And so these chips are just kind of not available. Now, this fire actually took place at the end of October. Okay, so we're a little over a month removed at this point from when this fire took place. But we're kind of hearing more rumblings about it now because the industry's you know, kind of dealing with what it all is impacted. And so we have a Fender amp here. This is a Mustang LT50, which according to my information happens to utilize this chip. Now that doesn't mean this amp is going away permanently, but it does mean it's going to be a short supply. That's a huge bummer. Um, how is it affecting like more interface type stuff like that? Because that obviously has been a huge uh, product in 2020. You know? Yeah, you know, if, if you aren't aware of this, because maybe you haven't ordered one yet or it's been on back order for you since March, um, we have not been able to keep audio interfaces in stock uh, just about period, particularly things from Focusrite. Yeah. Um, we get them, they pretty much sell out because there's so many people stuck at home taking this opportunity to record. I also think a lot of them are being utilized for um, kind of remote learning and, and just any application where you're having to interface audio with your yeah. computer and, and deal with it online. Um, and so, yeah, some of those are going to be impacted. Now, it's difficult to find online a list that's comprehensive of which chips are using the AKM microprocessor and which ones are using different microprocessors. But it will probably be very apparent uh, in the next few months because what we're likely to see is a delay. Now, do you remember I did that video kind of at the very beginning of COVID, the whole pandemic, and talked about supply constraints? Yeah, I remember mostly the roasting in the comment section. Everyone's like, you yeah, should talk uh, about, you know. Look who's roasting now. Yeah, hey, <laughs> AKM. Hey, um, that's so, it's too soon, that's too soon. <laughs> Yo! So insensitive, sorry. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we talked about in that video, which I put up there, if you haven't seen it, uh, we talked about basically global supply chains and how the pandemic starting in China and shutting down factories is having this ripple effect. It deals with customs, it deals with shipping, it deals kind of with everything. And all of the challenges that 2020 has you know, given us, most companies have been able to face and get through one way or the other. Now, in truth, there's some guitars we ordered back in January that we still haven't seen and yeah. that we probably won't see even until next year at some point. But this happening with the, the chip manufacturer AKM, AKM really demonstrates that reliance on kind of globalization when it comes to components um, and different manufacturing. So something might be built in the US but rely on components from Taiwan or Japan or China. Someone, something might be built in China but rely on components that come from Japan, for instance, in this particular case. And so according to news reports, AKM has an eventual workaround. But in the interim, these chips just aren't going to be available. So here's what you're likable to see. At some point, the supply of products that are currently available they're going to sell through, right? What, what time of the year is it? It's holiday season. It's holiday season, yeah. baby. And so a lot of this stuff is going to get sold anyway. The problem is dealers like us, retailers, are not going to be able to get 
kind of the resupply, which has already been difficult um, for some of these products. Now, some manufacturers are going to deal with workarounds. They're either going to switch chips or they're going to have different products or they're going to emphasize products that don't use these chips. Yeah. And to your question about interfaces, you'll probably see interfaces available that don't use it, and the ones yeah. that rely on it will be out of stock for a bit. Yeah, it's tough because, I mean, like we said, there's not a huge uh, available list right now to see what manufacturers might be affected more than others. However, uh, from Personas, Focusrite, um, even other stuff that we don't have. Motu, Steinberg, yeah. which we stock. I, the Steinbergs are fantastic interfaces, by the way. Those Neve preamps. Um, yeah. Um, but so. even even like uh, we, we don't have certain things like UAD, but... Um, there are so many good options, and it will be a huge bummer to see if any of those get really hit. Um, but if you've been looking for an interface, it's not to say go out right now and panic buy, you know, toilet paper and audio interfaces. Do um, limit of five interfaces. Limit of five interfaces. But um, you know, if you're thinking about it, keep that in mind. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is this is basically kind of a informational video to let you know what happened and how it's going to pan out. What I don't want people to do is like, you know, six months from now see amps out of stock and go, well, those those were obviously had issues or they weren't popular. It's really kind of the opposite. Yeah. And, you know, these things just happened more so evidently this year uh, in 2020. So yeah, we're going to see, you know, these amps come back. We're going to see workarounds and hopefully AKM having such reliance upon these chips uh, will be able to get their work around and manufacturing going sooner rather than later. I'm just interested to see. I, I don't know which car stereo systems. It's supposedly high-end car audio systems. Yeah. Like, is someone just, like, not getting a stereo in their BMW or something this year? That All be... aftermarket stuff. <laughs> All, yeah. It's just got to be kicker. Yeah. You know, brand-new 7 Series with a kicker audio system mm -hmm. in it. It'd be great. That'd so. be cool, actually. Anyways, um, that's the, yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah. Um, All and... those nice roasty tones. For all of you that said Chris was just trying to pedal guitars by saying that the supply chain would be interrupted, absolutely. I hope that you're happy after not being able to get any of the guitars that you wanted this year. <laughs> um, but uh, we have had a lot of manufacturers have busted it out and really gotten a ton of stuff, but was, there are some weird, weird times. It's been an interesting year, and I think one of the things that COVID has done, hopefully, is bring a light onto the process of the goods that we buy um, and, and really what all is involved. You know, whether it's something that's manufactured overseas from components that come from a variety of places, it hit the auto industry. You know, most people understand that you know, something that, say, a vehicle made in the USA is not completely made in the USA. It has components sourced from Germany or from Mexico or from all over the place. That's the global you know, kind of world that we live in. Um, and even a manufacturer that mostly relies on things that are domestic, like Martin, was shut down for months by yeah. state mandate because of the pandemic. And so, you know, it, it eventually and inevitably creates constraints and delays in the process of getting goods. And so, you know, I it it's maybe sounds sappy, but I, I thought about uh, something I saw on Facebook for this year. And it was, you know, if you remember, we were all pretty much ready to be done with 2019 and looking forward to 2020. Um, and someone posted, you know, 2020 was uh, what I thought would be the year I got everything I ever wanted. <laughs> Turned out it was the year that I was thankful for everything I had. Uh, so on that sappy note, you know, I, I think this is a reminder to, uh, sometimes we get spoiled with the availability of things um, the price of things uh -huh. um, and, and kind of the ease with which you can just go and buy stuff. And this is kind of a good reminder that, uh, you know, sometimes it's always not that easy, whether it's on the retail side or the manufacturing side. And, uh, you know, as these things are sourced from different places, sometimes there's going to be some hiccups. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. But thankfully, we're going to get through it. We have music to do it. So if you have any more questions about that AKM, comment below. Or if you have more information, please share it with us about what you know, for instance, is going to be impacted by this. I know for us guitar players, the one thing I've specifically heard is certain modeling amps, but I would venture to say there's probably some pedals, some high-end DSP processing pedals that might be in, uh, affected. I'm not sure. And of course, the larger pro audio industry uh, is going to be uh, dealing with the effects of this fire. Yeah. So... Thankful no one was hurt. 
we'll get through it eventually. But there you go, going forward, you know why some things are going to be hard to come by. At the end of the day, the very best uh, chip in the world is the one that's not on fire. Exactly. <laughs> Jalapeno barbecue. If you haven't seen that JHS video where we talk about artisanal chips, go check that one out. Uh, yeah, eat your chips. Subscribe to the channel. Fish and chips. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, subscribe. Help us get to 100,000. Uh, keep coming back for more. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.